It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cleveland Browns, and it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 24. On a crystal clear late fall afternoon, EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to Cleveland, Ohio at Cleveland Brown Stadium. Today, we've got a good one on tap in the AFC North as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Cleveland Browns. Brandon Gordon joined as always by my partner, Charles Davis. Uh, Charles, these Browns, no other way to say it. They took a step back last year. You know, what do you think that they need to do to get back to the playoffs while competing in a tough AFC North? They need to get back to the identity that their head coach established a couple of seasons ago, a hard running game, consistent play from their quarterback, and then they have new management on the defensive side of the ball. They'll try and get after you in the pass rush. Well, meanwhile, the visiting Steelers come into 2023 with something to prove. They finished above 500 at 9 and 8 last year, but wound up on the outside looking in in terms of the playoff race. And you and I both know how it is around Pittsburgh. Death taxes and the Steelers finished 500 or above. But they want to get beyond that. They want to get back to those days when the Steelers were playing deep into the playoffs for the chance to go to the Super Bowl. And it's like this team is continuing to get better. to get us started now the kicker Chris Boswell and off we go from Cleveland from his end zone here comes Jerome Ford escapes the defender and he'll be dropped at the 21 yard line so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision loses him about four yards and the Cleveland offense ready to go to work behind the three-time pro bowler Deshaun Watson in his second season now is a Brown number seven overall just six games played for Watson in his debut season with the Browns, which really limited how much he could step into the franchise quarterback role for the team. But he gets a full slate to do so this season. Remember, his last year in Houston, over 4,800 yards. They expect excellence from him. First play, Watson to the air. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. They dial up the corner blitz that time, and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. A lot of talk the other day about them wanting to quiet this home crowd early and often. Very first play of the game, they do just that. You're exactly right about that, because that's often a conversation when you go on the road and you travel. Hey, let's take the crowd out of it. What a great way of doing so by putting the quarterback on the deck. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. But Deshaun Watson, when you think about the toughest quarterbacks in the league to game plan against, he's got to be in your top five, does he not? And when you talk about game planning, putting him in the top five, that's an easy call because he can make every throw. That's not an issue at all. He has great touch delivering the football. But that mobility, that added dimension, Oh, when he escapes the pocket and those receivers find their way open, short, medium, and long, he finds the right guy. And last but not least, his toughness. He can stand in the pocket, take a hit, and deliver. This is four. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. Now hang on here, because following that play, it looks like Amari Cooper is in some distress. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. On fourth down, Corey Bajorquez gets set to punt for Cleveland. Deep to return is Calvin Austin. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. The Steelers' offense set for their first possession here, and it's Kenny Pickett who will lead the way, the second-year man, Charles, from Pitt. Pickett didn't quite lead Pittsburgh to the promised land in his first season as the hometown kid and franchise quarterback, but he did impress once he got on the field. Winning seven games helped keep the vaunted streak of not losing seasons alive in the Steel City. On first and ten, it's Pickett. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half.
Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. Pick it back to throw. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Second down and three. Pick it a look to throw it here. Under pressure and down he goes. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Pickett and the Steelers in need of a big play here. Third and long after the sack. They'll set up to throw. He's going to wind up and air it out. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. Well, that would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. If I'm making excuses, and I am, sometimes the sun can be difficult on a ball like that. That looked like it was going to be right there, but it's in and out of his hands. And a potential big play goes by the wayside. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that, Puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. So plenty of action on the field, but no action right now on the scoreboard, at least as of yet. Nothing, nothing is our score. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been a defensive stalemate. No scoring in that first half whatsoever but a breakthrough can't be too far off. And for the start of the second half, let's get you right back out to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. After a rare scoreless first half, these teams now just looking for something as the second half gets underway. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. And Charles, a scoreless first half. How does that change how you assess things here moving forward? Well, it doesn't change it a whole lot because, remember, it's still scoreless, which means you're starting from zero again, so you just have one half to play instead of two. What I would look at my play sheet, though, and see is something that maybe loosens things up for my guys, gets a smile on their faces, and gets them going to begin the second half. Pick it now on first down. Open down there. Darnell Washington will go down as a gain of six and that's going to bring up second down nice rhythm throw there on first down he located his tight end made a nice easy pitch and catch hoping he can break a tackle or two wasn't able to do that there but still good yardage ball on the 27 here's a second down and four 
Here's Pickett. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Warren. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down. Let him get the first down. And that's exactly what he did. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now here in Cleveland. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Now they go screen. It's complete. Here's a second and seven. Here's Pickett. That's caught. Allen Robinson. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Here's first down. Pick it to throw. That's to the sideline and incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Another try, second and ten now. Looking to throw here. Pick it. Throws to his man on the out round. It's complete. That's Robinson. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for him. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside. Ball's delivered. Gets both feet down for the completion. Now the third-year man, Najee Harris. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. So on now for the field goal try, Chris Boswell. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. His first attempt of the afternoon, and it's for the win. And his kick here is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And I tell you, when it comes to needing a field goal in closing seconds, pressure situation, there's something to be said for having a veteran kicker trot out there. Agreed. It's so nice to have someone you can rely on, someone who you know has done it before. And this guy's as cool as they come, isn't he? After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. They'll come up first and 10 here.
One last throw here for Watson. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense, obviously stuff to work on. But they did enough, and the defense carried the load. Well, you know what they say. It's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Cleveland.